what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in this video we are looking at the prize picks nba slate for monday february the 6th we have an eight game slate today there's a few games posted already on prize picks there's some props that definitely look good i will look to target in this video and we'll have you know maybe some more later in the day once the rest of the board gets posted so let's get into it as always if you enjoy the videos appreciate the like button subscribe if you have not already you can check out twitter stay connected it's at the dfs process and let's get started so first prop that i'm looking at today is there's definitely going to be some value to look to in uh, golden state for sure without steph curry there's going to be some value whenever they post the the brooklyn props uh, but one prop i like on the thunder side is going with josh giddy he's coming in playing really well recently the matchup is great you know, over the weekend, we saw that Lakers Pelicans game be one of the you know a great game to stack up on both sides. And currently, I love the Thunder and the Warriors game to stack up on both sides. And the Warriors they get a bump without Steph Curry and the Thunder players. It's basically just been Giddy and SGA without Dort, That's two guys that have just been carrying the team and should be a high scoring game. So you have Giddy at 32 and a half PRA. I like the over. He chips in in all categories. He's faced off against the Warriors a couple times already this season, and he's had you know, a couple good games, 21, 8, and 6 in the most recent matchup, and that was just in 29 minutes. Uh, so that one he gave you 34. PRA in the game before that, 16, 11, and 7. So another game where he gave you, you know, 34 PRA, and that game he also just played 30 minutes. And in close games, Giddy and SGA, you're getting them playing anywhere from like mid 30s to even up to like 37 minutes so i like giddy which should be a close game taking the over 32 and a half pra uh, another prop you can look to on the other side is you know wiggins it's been kind of cold this year he's not asked to do a whole lot just with them whenever they're full strength early on in the season before he got hurt he had some good games uh but when they when curry was balling and pool was being more aggressive and shooting clay thompson's been scoring more you know, he's kind of been quiet, taking a back seat. However, they're going to need somebody to step up and score a little bit more without Curry. And Wiggins' numbers are pretty low on price picks today. The matchup is great against the Thunder. So you definitely could take the rebounds at 5. You could take the rebounds and assist at just 7.5. Uh, but I like the points and rebounds at 21.5. You know, he's had some rebounding, he's had some decent rebounding games. The points, you can't really look to the last you know, five games or anything like that because there's no Curry. Maybe you'll see some more minutes today, but he'll definitely sh take some more shots and have some more shot attempts. You know, he's a guy that can give you high rebounds of 7+. plus, And you, know, you could take it at just at 5, but you know, I like taking the points and rebounds. It's a spot where you have this game as a 237 total. It's going to be a lot of points scored, so we want to get to both sides of it. Next prop I like is going over to Chicago, and we're taking DeMar DeRozan. I like a few of these different numbers. You can take the points uh, alone. You can take the points and rebounds at 30 and a, 30 and a half points, rebounds, or points and assists at 31 and a half, or you can take them all combined at 35 and a half. They have all three of the Bulls stars, DeRozan, Vooch, and Levine, at 35 and a half PRA. And I kind of like the guy going up against his former team more. The Spurs have the worst defense in the NBA. There's going to be points scored in this game from the Chicago side. DeRozan scored three straight games, over 32 points against uh, the Spurs. All three times he played them as a member of the Bulls. He's put in 33 points scored, 40 points scored, 32 points scored. So you definitely the 25 and a half points looks good. But he's also had some good assists and some rebound games in two out of the three games. Oh, some good assist games. He had an eight assist and seven assist game. Uh, and he's had a six rebound game against them. I don't mind taking all three. We've seen him contribute, handle the ball a bit. Definitely the assists should be there. The rebounds will be there too uh, if Vooch doesn't get them all. So that's the third prop I like. For our fourth prop, we're going back to the Golden State Warriors side. I'm taking Jordan Poole. Uh, he has good numbers across the board. If you look at his games without Steph Curry, it's been a lot of 20-plus points scored, a lot of decent assists and rebound games in there. So just looking at the most recent games without Curry, he's had a 32-point game scored, 
32, 3, and 2, 21, 4, and 6, 24, 5, and 6, 28, 6, and 5. He's scoring in the mid-20s in most all of his games in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 straight games. He scored at least 21 points in games without Steph Curry. The assists are there. He's had a bunch of six assist games. You know, the rebounds, they're there in some games, but Draymond's going to rebound. Wiggins is now back, and he's going to rebound. So I like the points and assists more, the most out of any of his props. At 27 and a half, uh, you could see it get it, him get it done with the points alone. The assist, you, know, you, you can expect anywhere from probably 2 to 6, uh, probably closer to the 5 or 6 side just with the matchup being good and high scoring against the Thunder. And the minutes should be more and more shot attempts for Poole. You can look to him across the board. So that's the fourth prop. And then the final prop is might as well go back to the Thunder side and take SGA's props. I like his points, rebounds, and assists at 43 and a half. He's been really locked in recently, getting to the free throw line a ton, 15 times last game, 10, a couple times before that. He's had some good matchups here. He fell short just by a little bit last time they faced off against Golden State with 42, but uh, in that game he still... Was looking to get it done in all categories. He did have 31 points scored, 7 assists, just 4 rebounds. So maybe a little bit short on the rebound side. But you know, him and Giddy, they've been getting it done together. Uh, and even though you know, SGA is going to be definitely looking to score more, you can still take him. He still has some good assist and rebound games recently. Uh, so I like taking all three combined. And what I expect to be one of the best games to target this one. Definitely the Sacramento game once they post that one. Some Brooklyn Nets props looks good um, with them being shorthanded. So there's going to be definitely some more props to look at, but as of now, the Thunder Warriors game is definitely the best one to look to today. And then I put in DeRozan going up against his former team. So that's what I like. Let me know if you have other questions in the comments section, but we're looking at Giddy over 32.5, Wiggins over 21.5 points and rebounds, DeRozan over 35.5 points, rebounds, and assists. Pool over 27.5 points and assist, and SGA over 43.5 points, rebounds, and assist. Best of luck tonight. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all next time.